Whoop whoop. Welcome to. <laughs> Oops. I dropped out. Welcome to Black Spin. Hey, hey, hey. So I'm multitasking today. I'm actually about to do my makeup and talk to y'all real quick. So please excuse me, but I have to get ready to go somewhere. I just really think it's imperative that we really discuss race relations on a socio-political level today because I'm seeing a lot of mistaken identity going on within our culture. And what I mean by that is this whole light skin, dark skin thing. Number one is not light skin, dark skin thing per se, because I know a lot of light skin people that's down with the cause who have two black parents. We're talking about multiracial, multicultural people who just happen to look like light skinned Negroes. They're not light skinned Negroes. They are multiracial, multicultural. And we need to start saying that or advocating or at least recognizing that difference. We have to take this back to the beginning of colonialism in South America. I'm sorry, in uh, North America, South America, and in the islands, you know, in like Haiti and stuff like that, the Caribbeans and all of that, because what they did was the first step of colonialization is to inbreed or inmix with the people. The same thing the Greeks did when they invaded um, North north by northwest i don't know how, how to say it africa uh it was part of Niro uh not Nairobi, nubia at the time it was the same thing the dutch did hell it was the same thing the germans did when they invaded the dutch so uh we have to kind of understand that it's the same thing that the moors did uh when they invaded spain you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, this is colonialism. It's a, it's a political takeover. You know what I'm saying? And we have all done it before. It's not like it's just a white folk thing. It's just that they're a little more savage than we are when it comes to that. You know what I mean? They are way more savage than we are. Anyway, so let's get to the, the grits of what I'm talking about. So um, the, the purpose of this video is really to talk to you guys about sticking with your own race. And why I do not do interracial relationships. And it is very political why I do not condone or um, respect interracial relationships. Where, it's a, where it is a black woman with a, a Hispanic or a white man. Or if it is a... Because Hispanics want to be white too. We have to watch them. Or if it's a um, black man with a white woman or a Hispanic or whatever. Anything but another black woman. And the reason being is because, like I said, in colonial days, what did they do? They took their biracial offspring and used them to continue the oppression that they set forth once they have taken over the land. Okay? First they come in by force, take over the land, and then they leave somebody there to watch over it, like the overseer on the plantation. You know, it's be equivalent to that. So, we have to kind of be mindful that that mindset still exists. It even still exists in Jamaica where there is a light skin hierarchy there, which is why that girl Spice was on that show Love and Hip Hop talking about uh, colorism. Because it's still a problem there where the bastard offspring of their colonizers' children still think that they are better than, the, than them. Now remember, in Jamaica and in Haiti, there are two incidences of the French... Um, after they finished taking over the lands and everything, and they didn't need the biracials no more, or which is their bastardized children, they uh, chopped their heads off and sent them to their wives and mothers. Like, this shit is it's not checkers, it's chess. It's not even chess, nigga, it's colonialism, which is a way more brutal strategy. So, um, we have to kind of look at that and understand that our biracial children are being raised with a certain mindset. You know what I'm saying? When you when you make a baby with that white woman, that baby's not thinking that I'm a black man. He's thinking I'm a black and white man, and he's going to choose a flag. And that girl, she's not thinking, she's thinking I'm mixed. She's not thinking I'm a black woman and a white woman. You know what I'm saying? I'm not speaking for all. I'm generally speaking for most. Okay? Because when they get into positions of power, they don't consider themselves black. They, don't, they pass them off as a part of the European culture, and they act as such. Barack Obama is the main example. That's not a black man. He was not the first black president. He was the first mixed president. And we get that shit confused. But we, we, he wasn't confused, though, because he went that bitch with an agenda, and he fucked us two ways from Sunday. 
I did a video on it. Uh, it's about maybe seven or eight videos down. Uh, we give Barack Obama too much cre uh, credit. It, I, it was a three-part section, but I lost the other two parts when my phone broke and I had to get a new phone. And I never re I never recorded the uh, re recorded the other two sections. If you guys want to see that, if that's something you want to see, just uh, comment below and I'll do that for you. Now, anyway, um, we have to kind of own the fact that once we step outside our race, we're not raising uh, someone who's going to be loyal to the race because their parents wasn't loyal to the race. And you can blame that shit on love all you want to. Like I said in my exclusivity in a black community video, you knew she was white before you said hello and asked her, her name and her phone number way before the sex, way before the love. So I don't want to hear that love is blind shit. Yo, Mac, your game ain't blind. You know what I'm saying? That Mac that you put down when you got with that man and or woman of a different race wasn't blind. You knew what you was doing straight up and down. You know what I'm saying? Straight up and fucking down. And what we're doing is we're giving them that next uh, biracial army that they're going to need to further suppress us because so many of us are getting wise and are getting strong. And are stepping into our our political beliefs. Just take a, a trip down Instagram and you will see that so many people are waking up. And I don't and I don't mean just socially, but politically, and also most importantly financially. So with that uh that awareness, I don't even like to call it woke no more because that's been taken over by the white men to and repropagated into something negative. So um, we are actually uh becoming way more politically aware and self aware. And they're developing their next set of oppressors to keep us in check. But point blank period. And again, don't not get our biracial brothers uh, people confused with our light-skinned brothers and sisters. All light-skinned people are not mixed. Some of them just light-skinned. My, my brother, for example, he is very, very light-skinned. That baby is pale as shit. And, um, and my big brother has no white in him. We have no... Um, European ancestry. Our blood has been clean since uh, slavery. For the next, last 150 years, our blood has been clean. We have done no interracial coupling in my family because it's forbidden. We don't get down like that. That's the unspoken truth. So anyway, we have to be mindful that we are plenishing their ranks. Every time we push out a biracial baby, we plenty in their ranks. And you know, biracial people are not, again, they are not raised to say, Oh, I'm a proud black person, I'm a, I'm this, I'm that, I'm gonna look out for my people, man. They get in where they fucking fit in. They they excuses like I'm not black enough for the black people, I'm not white enough for the white people, I don't belong nowhere, therefore I'm mixed. That's propaganda that the white folk put out there. Nigga, we got white people that's black enough to be in black communities. You mean tell me we are disowning People that are actually half black, that's fucking not true. Yeah, you was probably made fun of as a kid, but who the fuck was it? You know what I mean? So, at some point, we gotta stop blaming our uh, bastardized ways on government and start saying, hey, since we know this is how government get down, why don't we stop aiding them? Stop giving them them mixed soldiers to oppress us. Stop that fucking shit. Stop that fucking shit. Not only that, another reason why I don't agree with it is because we're giving them precious melanin to survive and live and to continue to oppress us. Because one thing, two things to show is that they cannot survive without a healthy heat of melanin. That's the real reason why Marco is in the is in the um the what's it called the palace and they still trying to put the bitch out because she's getting more popular than than uh the white princess that what's his name? that William married. So they're trying to exile them to Africa somewhere. They need melanin to further their dynasty so they can stop dying out to further their bloodline. White people are a negative birth rate. Negative birth rate minus birth rate is two different things. What they won't tell you is that negative birth rate is when you are Two, two generations behind that there are for every you know okay minus birth rate is not keeping up with the death rate negative birth rate is not keeping up with the death death rate you see what I'm saying I don't know how to explain I'm trying to remember how I learned it how it was explained to me 
Okay, so negative birth rate is, let's say it's uh, minus birth rate, not keeping up with the natural rate of death, and birth is not is not equal, right? When you a negative birth rate, that means way more you are dying than being born. You see what I'm saying? Negative birth rate, I mean, um, it fluctuates. This is not fluctuating. Their numbers in birth are steady decreasing, and the numbers in death are steady, are steady heightening, which is creating a, a large deficit in between in the margin, which puts them at negative. They're at negative life right now. They're not at minus birth rate no more, nigga. They're at negative. Minus birth rate, I know minus is a negative sign. They're at negative. Nigga, they out of there. And if we don't start procreating like the Mexicans, we're going to be out of there. Because the Mexicans is the new Europeans. They're trying to be. Everybody trying to. They, everybody see the weakness in the European uh, hold on America. And everybody's making the grass for America. But I say, why let somebody else get America when the indigenous people need to get America? It was a black man who was the first president of the 13 colonies who uh, taught, taught the savages government and how to free themselves from British rule. Yeah, I forgot his name. I think it was Henry or something like that. They always betray people that help them. Know that. It was an indigenous man that helped set up the government, the idea of presidency and election and democracy and stuff like that. All he did was take the rules of the tribe. That's all he did. And uh, put it on a larger scale where it would affect everybody, not just the prob tribe, but the whole countrymen. That is the pre a presidency, a vote, all that is tribal law. It's no coincidence that all of the presidents come from one family. Tribal law. And we so worried about having pretty kids. And even white folks say, oh, mixed kids are the prettiest kids. They all want a mixed baby. You know, it's like a commodity. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want a curly hair, light, light skinned black Negro child so that they can rage war and oppress the indigenous people. And that's not right. We are giving them soldiers to kill us with. Alexander the Great invaded with mixed breeds of people. Henry the Navigator was a mixed navigator. They could tell you what they want to about him being black. That man was of mixed ancestry. Okay? We got to watch them. They want to copulate with us for a reason. And don't think you can't have a baby with a, a race of motherfuckers that you hate. Everybody want to go back to slavery. We can take this b back to before slavery. A lot of men wasn't even gay. They were just fucking their slaves just to demean them in front of their women. They was gay. Fuck that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So we got to watch that stuff. This is a, a military agenda. And they are getting ready to fucking strike on our ass. And we worried about light skin, dark skin. Nigga, please. Y'all need to keep y'all dicks and, and vaginas in, in our own race. You know what I'm saying? If not, if not just to preserve that race so that we won't cease to exist. Because pretty soon it's just going to be a bunch of light skin folks. Because think about it. If, if all the men that no longer want to copulate with women of my hue and darker, then what? Then what? They they want to create mass confusion. Divide and conquer. Divide is mass confusion. That's the purpose of the division. And we just not, we're not getting that. I don't know if we don't get it or if we don't care as a people. But we definitely need to care. I do not agree with that mixed relations. Not only that, marriage is a agreement. It is a contractual agreement that I'm going to get old die with you, create uh, and diversify our portfolios, we gonna make it. We gonna have residual income, we gonna have income coming in, I don't care if we all still got, uh, generate, generate several streams of income and still go to work. I'm about that action. Cause if I don't go to work and go to these places, I can't get to my people. You gotta understand that. It's just like in the workplace, people, black people are only diverse people in this world. Mexicans only hire Mexicans. They only hire niggas when they have to. And when they do hire them, they treat them like shit. They, and they have a gang mentality. They don't work well with us. And then uh, we're ultimately fired if we complain and or act as if we're unaccepting of that anti-black behavior coming out from our Hispanic brothers and sisters. 
again people this is not about hating another race it's just about not copulating with them not giving they have never used our offspring for our betterment they've never said hey these mixed kids are bridging the gap between black and white no they use the mixed kids to maintain the gap you know what i'm saying we're creating their race soldiers for us and at the same time we're depleting our own ranks Military science. Understand it. Get into it. Where's the, my right color concealer? What the fuck is going on here? That's a brush. That's a brush. That's not it. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm multitasking right now. Okay, so what is this? I guess I have to mix these two. Alright. So... You know what I'm saying? And then let's talk about let's talk about the fetish the fetish the sex behind it. This the uh sociology behind it. They are fetishizing mixed children to make you want mixed children. To look, these mixed kids making it. And they know that as a parent we always want our kids to succeed. It wasn't until I realized my own beauty and my own uh, complexion that I want a dark skinned child. I'm telling you, shit is deep. And I'm only admitting that to you because I want you to understand it. I put a post on my Facebook that said, How many of y'all happy y'all kids are not dark skinned? Nobody admitted it. But I knew what it was. That's why I made the post. It was a rhetorical question any motherfucking way. And the first thing a man do is holler, then nobody in my own race want me. Shut the fuck up. I'm telling y'all, man. That's why they having all these interracial couples on TV. Every commercial y'all see is an interracial couple. Whenever the white man telling you to go right, nigga, go left. Go left to safety. Guarantee you that's what safety is. Guarantee you. Motherfucker told y'all to segregate, y'all segregate. That was a nightmare. Motherfucker told y'all to fight in the Civil War, y'all fight in the Civil War. That was a nightmare. We should never join ranks with them motherfuckers. We should have fought in the Civil War of our own, with our own people. You see what I'm saying? We fought that war and won that war on our backs. And look what happened. Coca, chestnut. So we need to, um, so we got to kind of get into it and understand how they strategizing against us. We cannot afford to uh, continue to be in this lost day state of mind, worrying about what our kids going to look like. What the fuck? Are you not going to love them if they dark skinned it? Like, I don't fucking get it. Like, is this, is it going to be like a, a problem? Y'all be bugging the fuck out over what children look like that's not even here yet. I don't understand what the big deal is. I didn't care what my daughter looked like when, when she was born long. She had 10 toes and was healthier than a motherfucker and smarter than me. Smarter as me. You know what I mean? If what she look like. Look like me, look like her dad. I'd prefer to look like me, but hey, you know, we, we all can't get what we want. At some point, we're going to have to kind of settle our differences with ourselves and be proud of who we are and be proud to give birth to whatever God give us within our nation. We cannot afford to be doing this selective, uh, genotypical selection that we're doing. Oh, we want to try for a baby with good hair and pretty eyes. So this this type of woman we're going to be with. This type of man we're going to be with. Like, that's fucking stupid. How about I want to have a kid with, with somebody who's not going to leave me and who's going to love me forever and help me raise this baby? Why, why don't we shoot for that? You know what I'm saying? So it'll be some two-parent households. Speaking of two-parent households, do y'all know how important two-parent households are? The opposite sex relationship is the most important relationship. They say that a woman can't raise a man and a man can't raise a woman. Let me tell you something. A woman can't raise a woman by her goddamn self. Without having a love to fit because her daddy wasn't there. A woman raising a whole bitch ass nigga because he ain't had no daddy. A person cannot raise another person alone. 
that was a purpose of family. Everybody's so godly and so spiritual and so Christian, but nobody believe in family, which is what the Holy Trinity is. The man, the woman, and the guy, doggone child. If we want to get uh, religious with it, since y'all love religious so damn much. Look, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, y'all got to get together and stop filling the ranks of our enemy. Okay? We can't afford that. Like, that's not our job to make sure they have enough people to oppress us. It's our job to run and get out of the of said oppression. As it stands. Oh shit, I fucked the tail of my eyebrow. As it stands, we are thoroughly oppressed. We are nowhere near freedom. And we'll never get that freedom. Because we don't realize the tools that are being used against us. And keeping us from said goal. But I'm telling you. One of the goals, one of the things they're using against us is our reproduction process and the way that we choose to reproduce. They gave us our ideas on sex. Everything that was before before them, we don't, we lost touch with, and we don't even give a damn to try to find out. So with that being said, since we don't care to even find out, what said rituals were, what our natural selection of reproduction was, how we actually chose a mate. We choose a mate based on European standards. And then, unfortunately, it's based on the standards they give us, not the ones that they even use themselves. They tell us to mate based on genotypical features and what our child gonna look like. Not two, two geniuses trying to have a baby, but an ugly motherfucker trying to find a pretty baby mama, or an ugly ass girl trying to find a, a handsome baby daddy. A dark skinned girl looking for a light skinned baby daddy. You know what I'm saying? Whether he love her or gonna be there for her or not. You know what I'm saying? So just so she won't have a baby that look like her. That's crazy to me. And I understand, you know, that was once me. I once lacked the confidence and let po politics tell me what was beautiful. Let media tell me what was beautiful. One nobody, everybody in my family was co signing on the shit, so I didn't know. It took me to do research. It took me to realize, God damn, I look like Queen Amina. You know what I'm saying? It took me to, to give me that confidence. And I feel like once we all do some soul searching and get that confidence that we need within ourselves, we will stop trying to have babies that look like our oppressor that are going to do nothing but oppress us in the long run. Why would you want a child to remind you of your mortal enemy? That's crazy to me. But you'll put your baby out for looking like that punk ass nigga you had him with. Or her with. But you want a baby that looked like the motherfucker that enslaved your ancestors. Raped and robbed you. Pillaged your villages. Stole land that you were forced to pay rent on and taxes on when the shit is yours in the first place and they owe us taxes. But they talking about reparations, but they ain't talking about no back taxes, nigga. I ain't put no alcohol on for us. I put on my makeup and I know. I can pluck my eyebrows just now. Whatever. I'll exfoliate tomorrow. So at some point, we're going to have to wisen up and stop falling for these niggas' games that they playing with us. These sociology games, these economic games. And we're going to have to say, you know what? We hip to that bullshit. I ain't fucking no more white bitches. I ain't fucking no more Mexicans. I ain't just in case I get the bitch pregnant. I ain't touching these hoes. Because I don't want nothing but a, a black Nubian goddess that's chosen by the people to have my offspring to give birth to what's mine. And once we get that mindset, fuck what they tell us is beautiful, black is beautiful, and mean that shit, we gonna forever be under their thumb. We're going to forever be controlled by them. Well, we're going to, because part of us is going to always want to be of them and be like them. And we'll never be able to shake them because we're so in love with them. We're so in love with them. We want our kids to look like them. I ain't never met a, a person that wanted their child to look like their enemy. Yet as a race, that's what we aiming for. We want our kids. Oh, shit.
shit and make up like them. We want our kids to look like our enemy. It's crazy. It is crazy. Right? When I say it like that, you see what I'm saying? We are modeling our children to have the xenotypical features of our captors, our enslavers. We are still at war. We are still POWs. Just because the, the concentration camp, the look of the concentration camp has changed, we still in this motherfucker. And that's what y'all are ignorant to. Or, or just because y'all living a good life and y'all having some money, y'all don't understand that if we ain't all got it going on and we can't all walk up on our own, our own land, tax free, and we don't, we not claiming our tribes, ain't none of us free, ain't none of us shit. And I think that we'll be, we'll, we'll do good to recognize that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. I have a, something else I want to talk about in a separate video when I'm still doing my makeup. Uh, but I want us to think about not copulating with our enemy anymore. Not wanting our children to look like our oppressor. Not modeling our children after our oppressor. Because then when they begin to oppress, we're not going to see it coming. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure in Kenya, they didn't see Barack Obama coming. Because they thought that he was half Kenyan. Nah, he was all European. They use our the biological traits of us, the genotypical features of us to get in black spaces where normal white people cannot go. See what I'm saying? They use us like that. Because they are military geniuses. They 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 strap with intent. They know what they're trying to do. And we need to get like that and stop giving them soldiers. The least we can do is stop replenishing their ranks until we get some strategies of our own. Because we're not getting with these white bitches having these babies with them and telling them you are, you are black men through and through. And be for your people. And love only your people. Be there for only your people. We're not raising them like that. Oh, you're multiracial. Your grandmother's Dutch. Your mom's Irish. You know, we're raising them to be fucking white. Fuck out of here. And proud of that fucking shit. It ain't you black in the story. These white girls ain't telling their fucking children that they black. Hell no. My ex-husband got a child with a white girl. Never touched him. Never touched him since he got with her. And um. And he uh. He told me stop filling my daughter's head with all this black power stuff because she about to have a mixed brother, nigga. So you're not gonna you're not gonna feel yo yo meet yo yo son you have this white bitch with, the, with black with this with black power stuff. That's what I'm talking about. There's just an example. Say so I can understand where I'm coming from. People are not people that are having children outside the race are not with it. You know what I'm saying? And their kids not gonna be with it because they not with the shit. They they don't want to be with the shit. They ain't here for the shit. That's why they had a baby outside the race because they wasn't with it. We need to get back on board, back on one accord, back on one motherfucker program. Because if we do not, if we do not, <laughs> there will be hell to tell. Oh shit, the motherfucking captain. Telling you now. We're gonna reap that. And we're gonna be like, oh my god, why are you doing this to us, Alexis? Bitch, because y'all been telling Alexis she ain't black her whole life. And she better than black, and she finally the black, and she better than any black woman out there. So she don't view herself as a black motherfucking woman, and that's it. Look at Grace Jones' lineage. Grace Jones' uh, son is first generation um, mixed, and uh, his daughter is first generation white because he had a child with a white girl. You don't believe me? Go look at Grace Jones' grandchild. Hmm. See for your goddamn self. I ain't tripping. That baby is white as rice. Grace Jones. Grace Jones. First top high fashion African model. Straight out of the motherland. Got a white grandbaby. Look at the Jacksons. All of them white. All of them. All of them. Look at the Waynes brothers. Look at the next generation of Waynes. Y'all better get with it. Because it's going down. It's going down socially. We are fading ourselves out. And the few of us that are left, we're going to be oppressed by them. Mark my words. If we don't stop giving our semen and giving our fallopian tubes to our enemy. And rest assured, 
If you're not viewing them as your enemy, they still viewing us as their enemy. All right? So this is Black Span. I'm out, and I'll be right back.